All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today, this is our third podcast, which is very good. Uh, the topic today is about can Muhammad be a prophet for people like you, me? Uh, can he be a prophet for people from Indonesia? Can he be a prophet for people from Sri Lanka, from India, from China, from Germany, etc.? You know, always when we speak about Islam, we use Islamic teaching. We don't speak of our own, which means if there's something we use to prove Islam to be false, it is Islam itself. It is Islam itself. And today is no different. Always we use the same method. We use Islam itself to prove Islam to be false. So in order for Muhammad to be a prophet for Indonesia, what is the qualification? Indonesia have many ethnic groups. Have last time you guys you told me how many uh, how many languages there is in Indonesia? How many languages? Somebody help me. What I remember, there's a lot of languages in Indonesia, but I'm not sure really uh, how many. 700 languages. Even Christian prince cannot learn all those languages. I mean, 700 languages. I mean, here we go. You're stuck with number seven. 100 or 700. You guys are confusing me now. What? 360 local lung 700 okay anyway I mean it's so many too many but look what the Quran said and remember again we are not using our own method to prove Muhammad to be a false prophet we use Islamic books to prove Islam to be false never use we don't use a I don't use the Bible I don't use what Christians say because at the end of the day your opinion is an opinion but if you can provide the proof signed and written by the other person who is believing in that I mean signed by the religion of the founder of the religion then nobody can deny that proof so if we go in the Quran I mean the yellow pages of Islam we will find the following chapter 14 verse number four and by the way I like this verse a lot this verse Given us the wisdom who can be a messenger of Allah like finally Allah is saying something wise which is very strange which making me suspect that the one who wrote this verse may be Christian Prince not Allah because this is unusual so look what the Quran said and we never send the messenger save which means except with the language of his folk that he might make the message clear for them so what is the purpose that Allah never sent the messenger unless he speak the language of the people the answer is very simple and it make a lot of sense actually which I'm I'm surprised really that Allah speak in sense so they can make it clear for them all right so why the messenger should speak the language the Quran said because if you don't speak the language how he can deliver the message secondly how he can make it clear correct uh, do we have any Muslim here disagree that's what the Quran is saying in order for a prophet to be a prophet he have to be from his his folk which means he's from the nation and not only that he have to deliver it in the language of that nation okay how Muhammad will deliver the religion of Islam to you as an Indonesian who you have more than 700 languages in just one country in order for Indonesia to have a messenger from Allah based in the verse in the front of us Allah should send 700 messenger to Indonesia alone in order for Allah to send a messenger to India India I think have 400 languages Allah have to send 400 
messenger at least to India alone so how Muhammad is a messenger to Indonesia and you know because I uh, uh, like I am like a lot of Indonesian they watch my videos and you know YouTube suggest to me uh, Indonesian videos and in the other day I, I saw in, in my screen uh, a Muslim uh, wedding party Muslim wedding party and I saw a guy standing saying Bismillah al-Hamani al-Lahim and it was funny how he say Arabic and I assure you nobody understand except those words they repeat Bismillah al-Hamani al-Lahim alhamdulillah and that's it all what they knew about Islam is Bismillah al-Hamani al-Lahim alhamdulillah you know Bismillah that's it Okay, but how we can understand this religion? We have a book we have to read. Every Muslim in the world, ask any Muslim scholar, he will say to you, Quran only in Arabic, English, Indonesian languages is not Quran. Prayer have to be only in Arabic. Okay, how I'm going to pray to Allah in Arabic, but I don't speak Arabic. You know what I mean? And here we notice that Islam not only is silly, this verse, even though it makes sense, but it's stupid in the same time, because this is against the core of Islam. How you say that Muhammad is a messenger for all mankind, and then you say to me, we never send a messenger unless he speaks the language of his folk. Have you ever heard Muslim saying that Allah he sent the Quran to Muhammad in seven dialect? Who, who heard this before guys we have we have only 335 okay later guys we are going to talk about something people like to talk about how to make salad make a video about how to make salad you will get a lot more viewer there's a there's an app uh, I forgot the name what was the name since I became 17 I, I, I lost my memory I'm getting old now I'm almost 21 uh, I think it's called life something uh, a, a guy he's sleeping in the, in the in his bed and he have his finger in his nose and he's digging digging for bigger the dugger and, and booger sorry and he have thousands of people watching him unbelievable I'm serious you go to those apps you will find somebody doing nothing he have thousands of people are watching do you think his boogers is bigger than ours which we see in the screen I adopt because this is a big booger how you say to us that Allah he sent even to the Arab alone the word booger by the way is disgusting isn't it hmm. Muhammad he used to clean the boogers from the wall of the Kaaba look how much they respect the Kaaba they're boogers in the wall I mean come on save it in your pocket collect it like a stamp so how you want to you want me to believe in Islam when Islam teach something against Islam Any Muslim If we go in the hadith and by the way, I made a video about, uh, to Shabir Ali I don't know how many guys how many of you uh, saw what already but you can go to patreon You don't need to be a subscriber to my patreon by the way. It's for everybody you know you don't need even to make an account to donate for me you see uh, we have it open for everybody you can click at the link there at the video and you will go to the channel which is posted in the video we took it already from my channel so already you can watch a video which you missed uh, if we go in the hadith yeah because some people they might say think that in order there to see my videos you have to donate no my friend this my videos is for the poor the same as for those who have money so I am I don't make a special service for people who donate for me I, I never do and I will never do my services for everybody and those who donate will appreciate them you know this is because they are good and they can help they help but our service is for everyone you have a penny or a million dollar for me you are my brother and sister in Christ I don't care who you are I don't care how much you have I don't care you donate or you don't donate this is something I don't even know who you are even those who donate from I don't know them actually you know I don't know anyone 
I don't know my admins. You know, I don't know my admins. I see people who they are like some people ask me, can I be an admin for you? I say, okay, I will make an admin. You know, if I notice that he is uh, sound like a uh, not fishy, but you never know. Sometimes a person can fool us. Uh, so if we go in the Quran, and we heard before the Muslim saying uh, that Allah He sent the Quran in seven letters, and I like the seven thing again. Seven letters. The seven C's. Do you know the song is so seven C's? I, I forgot the song. I, I, don't, I wish you know I'm not good in uh, memorizing songs. Uh, and then you uh, know what, what the song saying seven C's. Anyone remember it? Seven C's, you know, seven C's? Is that the name of the song? Hmm. Muhammad, he stuck with the number seven. And look at this. Muhammad, he claimed, not me, Muslims, don't attack me. Muhammad said that Arab, and I am an Arab, God forgive me, I don't mean it. I'm born Arab, but I can do. I go on airplane, they do special inspection. I send my bag, they open it and they leave a paper for me. This this bag was inspected by the security just because I'm an Arab. It's fun to be an Arab, to be honest with you. Anyway, now listen. So the Prophet he received the Quran in seven letters. Seven letters means seven Arabic languages, or let us say dialect. And what is the reason for that? Because the Arab cannot understand it. Okay, so if the Arab who they are Arab, born Arab, in a small town, it's called Quraysh. The population of it is not even 2,000 people. They need seven Quran in order to understand the Quran. So how people who they are in Indonesia, they can understand the Quran? Guys, does it say that in the front of us? Read with me. Jibreel came to him and said, came to who? To Muhammad. Allah has commanded you to recite your people the Quran in one dialect. Muhammad, he said to Jibreel, Amar Rabbi Aman. This is a Turkish style. Amar Rabbi Aman. How I can, how they can understand the Quran. Look, look, it's, uh, it's sound like Quran. Aman Rabbi Aman. How they can understand the Quran. Unbelievable. It's so, so beautiful. Aman Rabbi Aman. How they can understand the Quran. Then, Jibreel, he went to the seven sky. And remember, there are seven skies. Look, seven skies, seven Quran, seven shoes, seven midget. I mean, the story is really good. I like it. So, Aman Rabbi Aman, how they can understand the Quran? Allah, he went, sorry, Jibreel, he went back to Allah and asked for the burden and forgiveness. He told him that Muhammad said, my people are not capable of doing it. Okay. The people of Muhammad who speak pure Arabic, they are not capable of one Quran. I want to know how this guy, what his name, the guy from uh, Indonesia, the one who made a video for me, and we spanked him. Munir, whatever his name. How this guy can understand the Quran? Didad don't speak Arabic. Zakir Naik don't speak Arabic. Uh, uh, Shabir Ali, he don't even speak uh, Pakistani. So, I mean, okay, how those people, they can understand the Quran? If Muhammad saying that the Arab, they can't understand one Quran. Sanihu Munir? Okay, Sanihu Munir. Sanihu Munir, Sanihu Munir. By the way, the Muslims, when they make something about me, and then they need a thousand video to explain the, the mistakes they did in the first video. Always. Like they want to attack Christian Prince, they make a video. And then he, oops, like oops. And then they start making more videos to cover the first, like they have to do like 100 video to cover the first mistake. But it's too late. That's it. We spanked you. It's too late, my friend. Guys, what are you are donating today? What's what is happening? Somebody get paid? That's unusual. What's, what's wrong? Look at this donation. What's happening? If talking about seven Quran will bring donation, I would talk about it. If, okay, guys, I will have another broadcast every 30 minutes. 
okay talk only about this topic i mean this is good this is good i lost my voice all day nobody make a donation now you are making donation why why sound fishy why let us ask allah allah why those people are making donation allah he, jabril he'd answer me he said they are making donation because allah he wrote in the book of destiny that they will make donations so even your donation by the way it is written by allah that you will support me i mean how funny the guy he is spanking allah and yet allah he wrote in his destination that you will give him donation isn't it that crazy isn't it yeah uh, inky paycheck i think now i can get married finally you know, uh, Arabian, Ara uh, Arabian, Middle Eastern ladies, uh, uh, when you want to get married, if you are poor, I mean, just dream about it. Don't even think about it. Her father, you go inside the house, he will throw you from the window. Literally. They worship money, my friend. Unbelievable. Anyway, thank God I'm still single. Uh, we go back to the topic. So my people are not capable of doing it. Okay, capable of doing what? Understanding the Quran. So Jibreel, he went to the seventh heaven. Actually, let me use my art. You know, I'm a, I'm I'm artist by nature, by the way. I'm born as artist. Okay. I don't like to talk about. I'm very humble. I don't like to talk about my my art, and my skills. But <clears throat> I will show you some of my skills. Excuse me. Can you push? There's a guy in front of me. I was pushing him away. So look at this. So now we have Jibril. I want to buy a software which is good for drawing. Uh, like you can maybe use a graphic, different. This is just a pen here. So let us say this is this is Muhammad. Uh, we need, oh, hold on, hold on. We need something. Maybe we can use this. Okay. To make it just, all right. So here we have Muhammad. This is Muhammad. This is Muhammad. I'm, I'm very good in art. I told you. This is Muhammad. Here we will give him two uh, foot so he don't feel down. Okay. So this is Muhammad. And now Jibril he come to him, and Jibril is big. He have six hundred wings. So this is Jibril. And those are the wings. 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 And wings everywhere, wings, 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 wings. So, and Jibreel, he told Muhammad, Allah, he told you to read the Quran, one Quran. Muhammad, he said to Jibreel, are you an idiot or what? One Quran, my people are not capable. So Jibreel, he go back to Allah. Okay, where Allah he live? Allah live behind the seven seas, behind the seven skies, behind the seven uh, 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 galaxies, behind the seven lake. So Jibreel, he go up. Up, 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 until he arrive to the last seven uh, uh, heaven. Seven. All right. Jibreel, he go to Allah. He tell him, Allah, your servant Muhammad, he said he cannot do it. He said burden. So Allah, he sent Jibreel back to Muhammad. And Jibreel, he gave Muhammad the good news. Okay, what is the good news? Khabibi Muhammad. He come back to Muhammad here. He come back to him. Coming from the seven heaven, Habibi Muhammad, Allah, he ordered you to recite the Quran in two dialect. Muhammad, he said to Jibreel, <laughs> what? <laughs> I said, burden, hello. Go back to Allah and tell him that my people are not capable. Jibreel, he take his flying donkey and he go back to Allah again. Boing. Up again and then he come back again to Muhammad and he say Muhammad I have a good news for you baby guess what Muhammad he gets so excited he said what 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 he said Allah gave you permission to recite the Quran in three ways Muhammad he look at the angel what an idiot he said to him Habibi Habibi my people are not capable of doing it the angel he go back again to the seven eleven heaven boing i mean imagine how much gas 
and he tell Allah that Muhammad told you his ser your servant he cannot do it Allah he sent Jibreel again and Jibreel he come back to Muhammad let us change the color hold on green Muslims they like green that this is the close of the heaven is a green all of us we will wear green I mean how boring okay so Jibreel come back and now he says to Muhammad Khabibi Muhammad I have a very good news for you Khabibi your request is approved by Allah Allah he said to you you can recite the Quran in four dialect in four what four dialect Muhammad he looked at the angel he said like what the heck with this God why he's so slow I mean are we going to go up down up down shouldn't God knows what Muhammad need what this is the story is about Muhammad the poor guy he have to say it again I ask Allah burden and forgiveness my people are not capable of doing it the poor angel I feel sorry for the angel imagine going up and down and stop do you know how far it is to go to Allah I mean it's it's almost the same between like Los Angeles and uh, San Francisco the distance very very far so uh, the angel he take uh, the hike uh, and he go up to Allah again and then he go back down and he come back down this time and he is so happy as usual and he said to Prophet Muhammad please say peace upon him please everybody I mean come on show respect go back to Prophet Muhammad and he said to him Prophet Muhammad guess what what he said to him Allah approve your request Allah he said you can brother you can recite the Quran in five link five dialect are you happy now Muhammad he look at him like what an idiot I mean are we going to stay doing this all day Muhammad he said to the angel please I seek forgiveness from Allah it doesn't work my people are not capable look like the angel you not know that Arab are very slow and I'm an Arab as you know I can't you can tell I'm very slow right I mean it took me it took me 12 years to finish the high school unbelievable I mean since I was a kid so Allah now he sent Muhammad and he said to him you can do it in five days did Muhammad accept no Muhammad He's very firm. He don't accept that. So he said to the angel, I seek burden from Allah. Tell Allah that it doesn't work. My people are not capable. Okay, so now we have five Quran. Still the people of Muhammad are not capable. What will make Muhammad people capable? Allah knows best. So the angel, brother, he go back to Allah again for the sixth time. And he asked Allah burden and Allah he sent Jibreel to Muhammad for the sixth time and then Jibreel he said to Muhammad let's what Allah he approve your request you can recite the Quran in six dialect Muhammad he look at this idiot angel and he said to him ah, what I shall say I mean it doesn't work it doesn't work okay even Zachary Naik he will not understand that brother the angel was like what even six time is not enough not enough and then the angel he went back to Allah and he said to Allah Allah you're a prophet asking for burden he said to me that the people cannot do it so Allah said to him all right all right go back to Muhammad and tell him I allow you to recite the Quran in seven dialect seven dialect and then Jibreel he come back to Prophet Muhammad and he told him Allah approved to read the Quran in seven dialect and Muhammad then he was so happy he says thanks to Allah Allah knows best What the heck with this story? 
why Allah didn't tell him seven uh, okay who, who is the one correcting who Muhammad correcting Allah Muhammad saying to Allah don't you know that my people are slow they will not understand the Quran from one dialect and then the angel go up down up down up down I mean don't Allah knew the future and how Muhammad is correcting Allah Muhammad he knew that his people cannot are not capable of doing it but Allah he don't know that Do we have any Muhammadan there? Anyone? Please challenge Muslims in Malaysia. My friend, I challenge Muslims only we are in the moon. By the way, do you know that uh, there's a there's a spaceship went from America and when they went there, uh, there's a guy his name Armstrong. He heard at the Allah Akbar the Adan Allah Akbar Allah Akbar true and then they published that in the internet for 21 days and then when they noticed that people will convert to Islam because of that they took it off from the internet mm. I can show you the video it's on YouTube saying that but the idiot who made this video he forgot that when the American went to the moon there was no public internet what do you mean they publish it in the internet, you idiot? Hello? Hello? Very cute, very cute story. True story. Mm. I mean, I don't know why people don't believe me when I say my, my grandfather, he used to have, to have a flying carpet, but they believe any story Muhammad, he say. A Muslim, he say anything, the Muslim, they say, I mean, brother. Christian Prince, whatever he say, they say to him, you are a liar. One, once I went to a chat room, and the admin there, he was like, you see guys, I used to go to chat rooms a long time ago, and when they see my name, the chat room will be like, <laughs> the second they see my name, the room will have like 50, 60 admins. Uh, admins, they can control, you know, like control, they bounce people from the chat. The whole room start boiling, and the room start growing. They invite, they invite, People come from everywhere to see what will happen. Christian Prince is here. And you will see the text, Admin, 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 brother. The Kafir Christian Prince is here, brother, brother. And then one of them, he said to me, hey, Christian Prince, we got you busted, Christian Prince. We know why you convert people to out of Islam. Here we go. And they play a recording of me saying, give me one Muslim, I give you five hamburger. I was joking. The Muslim took it serious. And he claimed that Muslims leave Islam after talking to me because I give them five hamburger. So I took the microphone and I said, so are you saying that you Muslims exchange your God Allah and your prophet for the sake of hamburger? <laughs> you, should, you should see what happened. <laughs> Unbelievable. Don't mess with Christian Prince. Don't ever do that. You got him busted, don't you? Yeah. Another once, uh, uh, they give me the microphone and they said, uh, telling you to come to the microphone because they will bounce me right away. So I said, the Prophet Muhammad never killed anyone. The Muslims, all of them in the text, they say, liar, liar. I said, he never have sexual relationship with the children. Liar. Li he never stole an underwear. Li because I'm Christian prince, whatever I said, they will say liar. They're not listening. I'm saying Muhammad did not do that. They call me liar. The admin, the one in control, he dot the whole room and he start cursing them. Me Allah curse you. You are a bunch of stupid. Even in our chat room, he beat us. He was saying the prophet did not lie. You said to him, liar. He said the prophet did not do this. You said to him, liar. What's wrong with you? Are you listening? You know, man. Oh, I just remember this too. Once I went to the chat room, big Islamic chat room, and I posted in the text, Allahu Akbar, the Pope of the Catholic and his third wife and his mother-in-law who died last year converted to Islam the sheikh was speaking in the microphone he said Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar guys stop the text stop the text stop the text look what this brother is saying the Pope of the Catholic and his third wife and his mother-in-law who died last year converted today to Islam and the Muslim they went crazy Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar like what the heck with those people the Pope of the Catholic, his third wife, and, and his third wife, and his mother-in-law who died last year, today they converted to Islam. <laughs> I 
and they start like Allahu Akbar, brother, take the mic and tell us the news, brother. Brother, take the and then they notice like what the heck with this? The, the, the people they start telling him, You idiot, what's wrong with you? He's saying his mother in law who died last year, the day they converted to Islam, and the Pope don't have a wife. <laughs> Just say anything, anything, say anyone convert, they go crazy. And here the story in the front of us. Muhammad, he is saying that my people are not capable of doing it. And those are Arab who speak pure Arabic. How an Arab who speak pure Arabic, he cannot understand the Quran unless it is seven Quran. How you, poor you, with my respect to all people, I love Indonesian people, I love Asian people, I love all kinds of people, African people, how you, who don't speak Arabic, you will understand this madness. A friend here, a brother saying, I was born again, Christian, a Christian, I struggle with sin. My friend, all of us, we struggle with sin. Do you think I'm better than you? Struggling with sin is good sign, actually. The one who don't struggle with sin, it means sin make him dead. Correct, guys? Let me show you what this brother, he said. I don't want to change the topic, but just because you mentioned this, you see, when you struggle with your sin, that's mean you have still you have you are, you are you are not dead. You are still a Christian because you just said you struggle with sin. When a person he surrendered to Allah, which is the devil, then he don't struggle with sin. So a clear sign that you are still with the Christ that you struggle with sin, which means you are trying to fight it. And look. You are not only struggling with sin, you confess your sin in the front of the public. And this is what the Bible says. Confess your sin to each other. My friend, that's because you have a good heart, not because you have a dead one. Anyone here is not a sinner? Nobody. We all struggle with sin. All of us, we get tempted. All of us, we know we wish there are things we did not do, but we did. So my friend, I'm not trying to make you feel better, but I'm trying to say to you that you saying that, that's mean you are fighting it and you are not giving up. The only problem will happen to us if we give up and we say, okay, I'm a sinner, I'm going to do more sin. Fight your sin and you are fine. Fight it, repent. And if you do it, you know, don't make it a lifestyle. When sin became a lifestyle, that means we are already keeping ourselves away from the Lord. Now, <clears throat> we go back to the story. As you see, Muhammad said that there is no way the Arab, they will be able or to be capable of doing it, which is what? Understanding the Quran, unless it is seven Quran. How you as an Indonesian will understand the Quran? How you as an Indian would understand the Quran, Chinese, German, how you can do that? <clears throat> you know what I mean? So we just prove to you using no nothing except Muhammad words. Or everything we see in the front of us is Muhammad speaking. The Quran is the word of Muhammad. You see, the Muslims they say this is the word of Allah, but this is a lie because the Quran says that this is the word of Muhammad. This is a statement of Honorable Prophet. And how we heard of, let us say for the sake of argument, Allah said that to Muhammad, even, even, even the stories in the front of us says that the one who brought him this is Jibreel. <clears throat> And whoever said that this is stupid and the Quran you know and by the way the reason Muslims they don't want to talk to me let us say those who claim to be uh, scholars because they they fear my method I'm not like the same as others who okay I will read for you a verse from the Bible a verse from the Bible he will not agree with it he will say I don't believe in the Bible anyway but when I show him from the Quran, where it says that this is the say 
of an honorable prophet. So how the Quran says this is the word of Allah. <coughs> Is it me who said that? Is it me that this is the words of Muhammad or the Quran saying that? Hey guys, don't uh, make fun of this uh, guy uh, what his name Takiya watch. I don't remember him really, but, but I think he's a poor guy and you know some people they have some bad issues in their life pray for them don't make fun of them it's okay you know i i witnessed through my life a lot of stories people are seeking attention they feel lonely etc it's okay my friend pray for them and don't make fun of them any muslim want to say anything so how allah is god who will never send Quran in any language except your language and then Muhammad he send you a Quran in Arabic how Muhammad he says the Arab who they are Arab they are not capable as you see and this is not my translation this is not my words and this is a Sahih story what we see in front of us this is Sahih Muslim we can show it to you from Sahih al-Bukhari <coughs> right so how we can accept Muhammad to be a prophet uh, not to add like Muhammad his ethic is bad his stories are stupid you know uh, like I don't want to talk about the stupid stories of the prophet but uh, like as an example Allah have a shin Allah have a shin what about this the Prophet said, isn't he who raises his head before the Imam afraid that Allah may transform his head into a head of a donkey or a figure a face of a donkey? Guys, Go watch videos, live videos of Mecca and see how many people raise their head before the Imam. And let us see how many of them, their face change into a donkey. Hmm? Yes, my, this is true. Most of my viewers are from Indonesia and I'm happy for that actually. You see, uh, Indonesia make the biggest population of Islam. So imagine if we can save this country, hundreds of millions go out of this cult. That would be the biggest thing I accomplish all my life. So I'm happy to serve my brothers and sisters in Indonesia. I wish one day I can meet them too. So I can eat their food, man. I cannot wait. I'm sick of eating hummus, every day hummus, in the morning hummus. And the lunch hummus at night at hummus unbelievable it's like in the philippines you know you eat rice in the morning rice at lunch rice at dinner we eat hummus do we have any muslim would like to say anything <clears throat> anyone I'm just joking. I don't eat hummus. Uh, you know, actually, I eat most of the time once a day. Any Muslim want to say anything for us, especially if you are from Indonesia or Malaysia or Asia? Anyone? Yellow rice. You want me to go all the way to Indonesia to eat yellow rice? I mean, how cheap are you? Unbelievable. This guy, he wants me to go all the way to Indonesia and what he will do, he will feed, he will feed me yellow rice. And why, why it's yellow? Is that because it's old, like you cooked last year? Like, come on. You see how much Indonesian people, they love me? Unbelievable. Yellow rice. Man, oh man. Like I will give you a yellow rice. And why it's yellow? 
sound fishy. Actually, you know, eating, eating, uh, eating pork, uh, I mean, that will not make you uh, good or bad. But I believe that pork is not too much healthy, to be honest with you. However, Islam focus in stupid things. Christianity focus in the real thing. What Jesus, what the, what the Bible says, it's not what go in your mouth, it's what come from your mouth. So while Islam focus on what go in your mouth, while their mouth is nothing doing nothing except cursing people, Christianity focus in the real thing. It will come from your mouth, make you dirty, not what goes inside. If there is somebody, he eat even rats. Rats, you know what rats? But he is a very good to me. And there is a person he never all eat pork, but he is a thief. He is a child molester. He is a criminal. I Means. What his food have to do with him being good or bad? Food is about health, body health. But the most important health is your spirit, your spiritual health. So if you are an evil person, but you pray, supposedly, you know, what Jesus said, don't be like those who pray in the corners. Hypocrites. That's what they do. They go in the corner. You will see a Muslim talking to me. He said, I have to go right now to pray. Have you ever heard me saying I'm going to go to pray? Why we Christians don't pray? We pray. But why would I talk about it? For the religion is about hypocrisy. It's a show time. For us, Jesus says, when you pray, you go to your closet alone and you pray. The church for us is where the brothers and sisters, they gather to worship God together, to gather, but not to show off. You will pray. You pray between yourself and the Lord. Now we go back to our topic. Who is a Muslim when I tell us how Muhammad can be a prophet if the Quran says that Allah will never send the messenger unless he speak the language of the people? Uh, guys, I'm, 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 jo I'm joking about the rice. I'm sure it's tasty. I'm just joking. Don't you know I'm joking? Any Muslim can tell us? And I, I apologize if I don't answer every one of you in the chat. You know, my eyes cannot follow. Actually, my eyes hurting me. I'm looking at the computer since I woke up. I did live podcast today three times. Three? Three, yeah. Anyone? Yeah, and where are those Muslims who want to get me busted? The Christian prince, you are a liar. They make articles against me, brother. Articles. Uh, brother, number one, Christian prince, he lie. And he said, brother. Okay, what he said. Why you don't call me and tell him what he said? <laughs> call me, baby. No, I do not need the glasses actually. I can see from far. When I joined the army, I did my eyes test three times. Because each time I tested the guy, he don't he don't he think there's a mistake in the machine. You know, like a, it's a computer machine, so like it gets smaller, 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 smaller. And like they stop you when you like you cannot see no more. So the guy, I go to the other room to get the result as a printer. The guy looked there, he says, let him do it again. They send me back. And I do it again. And why? Because I can see really far. Really far. I think I'm, I don't want to say that because people then they will say, oh, this guy is a Hindu. And they will say, he think he was an eagle before. What is a secret? It's very easy to understand. Eat carrot. <laughs> Eat spinach, you will become like, a, like papaya. Do we have any Muslim here? No, what a 2420. You want Christian Prince to have a 2420? Say 200 to 20. I mean, brother, I am an Arab. I speak to Allah directly. We speak Arabic together. Not like you. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. If you want to speak to Allah, you need a translator, let me know. I can translate your prayer for you to Allah because Allah is speak only Arabic. <laughs> 
Do we have any Muhammadan? Any Abdulism follower? Who is an Abdulism follower here? Who would like to call us? Anyone? And by the way, even the Arabic language, which supposedly we speak, the Quran is full of stupid things, even with the Arabic. The Muslim, they say to you, when they try to explain it, they say, Allah knows best. Allah knows best. Even the Quran says, there's tons of verses in the Quran and chapters, nobody knows what they mean, save Allah. And why Muhammad, he said that? Because he's a thief. He stole them. He's not the maker. You don't understand. What the purpose of Allah sending you to verses and then you do not know what the verses mean? And not only that, Muhammad he claimed that those verses is made to deceive. Do you believe it? If you go to chapter 3, verse number 7, the Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad says that in the Quran, there's tons of things which nobody knows what they mean. It's confusing. And then, but those who is in their heart, there is a doubt. They pre, pre, uh, uh, pursue uh, forsooth. What kind of language this language is? Let me change the translator, man. This guy is making me dizzy. Biktal. I don't know what this guy eat. I think he eat yellow rice every day. Isn't uh, he okay? Here we go. Look, look at this. And then uh, there is a brother, a lot of verses which no, it's it, there is verses with it's a clear, and there is verses not a clear. So, those who have disease in their heart, they will use the verses which is not a clear. Okay, why you let them use it? Seeking fitna, seeking fitna. What does that mean? Trial. So, okay, if Allah is the one who sent us those verses, are you arming those who want to do fitna? Or you give us, a, let us say, I want to do fitna, so Allah has given me an mission to shoot? I mean, do you see how silly that is? Any Muslim can tell me what is that? Just a reminder, you must master the understanding of the verse of the Bible too. If you have answered question to Muslims. Hmm. Well, my friend, the Bible, the Bible is a lot easier to understand and to answer about it. But this is what people do usually. You know, because you are a person who do not know much about the Bible, so he caught a question for you, and then you go on to read it, try to say, okay, what this is verses about. But for somebody who read and study the Bible every day, that question will be very easy to answer. Because the Bible is not about learning Hebrew to understand the language. I can be Christian, and I don't speak Hebrew or Aramaic. Because we don't believe that God he sent us a confusing language or a confusing book so for me to answer you about the Bible there is two things I depend on number one knowing the truth and that's why the Bible says read the books number two the Holy Spirit will stand with me and will guide me to give you the better answer better than my answer because if you depend on yourself not with the guidance of the Lord, you might, you know, not be able to give a full understanding. For me, because English is not my first language, speaking about the Bible sometimes is kind of a difficult because the Bible is a very deep book, not like the city. Look at this. You know? So the book, the Bible is deep. In order to explain, like, you know, when Jesus says, uh, he and she, they will be the same as angels. When they ask him about who is going to marry this woman. Many of you would read the verse. But the fact this verse alone by itself need a very deep study. It's so beautiful. 
It's so simple, but it's so deep. Many of us never thought about what does that mean? Okay, he will, she will not get married. So any Christian will say to you, okay, that's mean in heaven there's no sex. Okay, we got that. The fact is not only about this. It's far beyond sexuality. It's far beyond men and women. It's far beyond getting married. It's far. It's about being free. He and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. You as a man, you as a woman, you have needs in your life. Needs can be going from sexuality to have a partner, to have a family, to have a supporters, to have a security, because family is a security, by the way. You see, for thousands of years, the only security human being have is family. Until now, most of you who live in, you know, like Asia, the only security you have is your family. Government don't pay your retirement. I mean, not every citizen. You have to be employee for the government to get security, correct? But in the old days, this is why they used to have a lot of kids, because the only security you have is your children's. So Jesus has given you freedom. You will be the same as angel, which means you will not be slave of any needs. I will free you. Following me will make you free. Following Muhammad will be will make you sex addicted. And there's a huge difference. A Muslim, somebody asked me a question. What I, I saw something about face to face. Hold on, hold on. I was talking. Somebody says face to face. I like those face to face things. Where is the post? I can't find it. I, I think a guy was saying. Uh, would you like to debate Muslims face to face? My friend, if you cannot if you cannot answer me phone to phone, how you can answer me face to face? I mean, is that face to face will make you uh, smarter? I mean, look at this. They try to find an excuse. Running away from debating me. I mean, why you need to see me face to face? If I want to see you to face to face, let us say you live in Indonesia. First of all, I cannot go there. I will get killed the, the first second I go in the airport. I will find two million Abdulism waiting for me. This is number one. Secondly, who care about my face? You want to you want to answer? Okay, did you, did you see the face of Muhammad? No. Did you see the face of Allah? No. Okay, so you accept Muhammad without seeing his face. You accept Allah without seeing his face. So how now my face is a condition? And by the way, it's for your benefit not to see my face. First time I enter, I moved to this house. I moved in the bedroom. There was a mirror. I got scared. I ran out. I told the owner, there's somebody inside the room. Who is this? So I mean, my friend, you didn't want to see this face. Once I went to the lake, I look at the water, the, the fish die. Your tongue came out like, you know, you don't want that. What my face have to do with anything? But because this is the only excuse, then let us look for an excuse. Okay, now you have a face, I don't have a face. Can you answer? No. Tamara, she think I am handsome. Thank you, Tamara. Finally, somebody says to me that. Once I pay the women to say that to me, she refused. She said, I have to be honest. I believe in Judgment Day. It's not good to lie. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim want to tell us how Muhammad can be a prophet of God when your God says Allah will never send a messenger unless he speak your language? God does not protect you against Muslims? No. Why he will protect me against Muslims? Did Jesus say that you are a fool? God protect the fool? Jesus said actually they can kill the body, but they cannot kill you, which means you, you, your body, they can kill you. Jesus actually, he said they will kill us. He said time will come 
and they will think by killing you they are doing favor to God same time our Lord himself he was killed every one of the disciple of Jesus was crucified or killed or they cut his head because Jesus told us I brought sword but the sword on us so he prophesied of our death What about you? Do your God protect you? And here, as long as you mention this, sound like you are a Muslim. I have a question for you. I hope you will not get hurt. I mean, you're feeling how Allah He protected Jesus from being killed by the Jews according to Islam, but Allah did not protect Muhammad from poison which is given to him by the Jews, which means the Jews killed him. Any Muslim can answer? Your prophet said to the women who gave him poison, Allah will not let you do that. Which means they will not. He said to her, why you kill me? Why you want to kill me? She said, well, if you are a prophet, Allah will help you, protect you. If you are just a king, a false man, you will die and get rid of you. Muhammad, he says, Allah will not let you be able to do so. And as you see, Muhammad, he died by poison. So why Allah did not protect Muhammad? Any Muslim? Why you are asking my God to protect me? I am no one. Who am I? I'm not a prophet. I'm no one. Who am I? Why you okay? Here we go. See, do you want to see your face? Okay, why Allah don't show his face? Do you think Allah is scared? Ah Allah. Why? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. As long as you are talking about face. As long as you are talking about a face. Be careful when you talk to Christian Prince, you are talking to Christian Prince. Do you know what the word hijab means? Do you know a guy his name is Mimi Hijab? Hijab means a scarf, curtain. Hmm? Allah never spoke except from behind the hijab. Is that correct? Or I'm making things up. So why you don't ask Allah to show His face, and why Allah He don't speak except from behind the curtain, and He don't reveal Himself? Guys, does it say Allah He always speak from behind the veil? Does it say that? This is the Muslim translation. So Allah, why you are speaking from behind the veil? Are you are you wearing burqa? What do you say? What say you? The one who says to me, why you don't show your face? Why Allah speaking from behind hijab? Hello? So Allah, he can speak from behind hijab, but you want my face? So look how, how silly they are. They cannot answer. They cannot debate us. They can refute us. And now the debate is my face. So as your face. Do you remember the Sheikh from the Philippines? The guy we spanked him hard. He was saying, any Christian want to debate me? Any Christian want to debate me? Making videos like, I challenge any Christian to debate. So I made a video for him. Okay, I will debate you. And then he says, show me your face. Show me your face. I debated real American. You are not American. What the heck? The guy he debated real American as like you know because they are racist, you know, they think if you are a real American like that, you are God. I debated real American. You are you have an accent, you are not real American. Hmm. Garbage in, garbage out. The reason is very clear. You have no answer. So, Mr. Face. Do you have an answer? How Allah sent Muhammad to the Indonesian? Yet Allah, he says, I never send a messenger unless he speak the language of Indonesia. Do you have an answer for that? Or the only problem you have is my face. Any Muhammadan from Indonesia, shake, shaky one. He have the courage to call us and give us. Let me let me open Skype. Hold on, just to be sure that in case any Abdul he call. We don't want to miss the opportunity, brother. <clears throat> I 
I'm losing my voice. I spoke too much today. All right. My Skype is logging in. Who is the Abdulism would like to call me? Hmm? Anyone? My Skype is on. Who want to call us? Yeah, I am receiving some uh, requests from Indonesian people to make them as an admin. I will not make you an admin because you live in Indonesia. For your security, my friend. I hope the person who texts me in Skype, listen, it's for your safety and security. I will not. And by the way, I do not know any of my admins. I mean, all of them, I, I, I made them admins without knowing who they are. But it's not for your best, best to become an admin if you live in an Islamic country. Any Mohammedan? Your safety and security is important for me. So who is a, a follower of Abdulism religion? He is willing to call me and prove me wrong. The verse in front of us, in order for Allah to send a Muslim messenger, he have to be from Indonesia. And not only from Indonesia, you have to be from one, the ethnic group of Indonesia, because Indonesia have many ethnic and have hundreds of languages. So you have to be from that ethnic and you have to speak that language. So how Muhammad can be a messenger for a country have more than 700 languages? Anyone? For your voice, you should drink lime juice. Yeah, I I, uh, I love coffee. Coffee hurt my voice, I know. Keep it real when I call me. Okay, he can call me. My Skype is open. Give me your name, Mr. Uh, give me your Skype ID. If you are a Muslim, only. <clears throat> Yeah, I have two kinds of allergy. I have allergy from uh, camel urine. And uh, I follow the advice of Prophet Muhammad. And since then, I feel better. If a fly fell down in your soup, dip it, dip it, dip it, and drink it. And since then, brother, I have no problem. The medicine of Allah Prophet. Hold on. I get the medicine. Hold on. I hope you will go on the soup. She stopped. Post. Come on, go down. Go a little bit down. She's in the water. She's in the soup. I will push her. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, that is really science. If the fly fell down in your soup, you dip it, dip it, dip it. Is that right? How many of you Muslims do that? Be honest. How many of you Muslims, the fly fell down in your soup and you dip it, dip it, dip it? Why you don't make a video about it? Hmm? I want to see a Muslim doing that. Let us see the hadith. So here we go. So Muslim will not say I'm making things up. You know them. Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah Messenger, S A W F M, short wave, said, When a fly falls in the drink of one of you, he should fully dip it. 
now let me let me explain to you the beauty thing about this or the the I don't know how to explain to kuffar like you dirty kuffar like you I don't know I I, I think I need to do drawing all right I, sorry I have to do drawing to understand the situation here let us say you go let's say you are engaged hmm? and now you are going with your fiance to drink coffee somewhere okay now we have a table this is the table uh, tables in Indonesia they have only one leg it's like a mushroom and then you have here a cup of coffee and you told your friends say I'm going to order only one cup of coffee so we can share it together like we are because we are in love and then a fly drop on your drink then you as a Muslim what you have to do you bring your finger brother this is your finger this is your finger okay this is your hand brother and you push the fly down in the soup dip it dip it dip it and then you take the fly off throw it away now if you have a towel you can give a towel to the fly because obviously it's wet now all right and then the brother you drink the drink because the prophet says that one of the wings have a disease and the other wing have a medication Somebody is saying to me, CP, seriously? Yeah, seriously, come on. This is serious. Don't you see? It's Prophet of Allah talking. What's wrong with you? What do you mean, seriously? This is very serious stuff. Those people are dying for this. And brother, I used to get sick before. And since this thing happened, I am always healthy. Look what I do, brother. I put some sugar in the edge of my soup. And the fly like, and then when the fly come just cover the cup or the soup and the fly have no choice except to fill in the water or like <laughs> now we uh, we know why he said answer me silence me i mean you can tell that this guy is really a prophet you cannot deny that i know that you are because you're a kafir you try to resist the truth the truth is like like light like like the sun in the middle of the day it's so clear <clears throat> your mood is so stable why before my mood is not a stable what does that mean hold on hold on Marion said not Marion who was the one said that uh, Martha 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 why you are saying that your mood so stable is that because i'm talking about the fly look you see those people the second i start giving them medication advice involve their health about dipping dipping the fly now they think i am stable obviously i'm stable hello really stable Actually, after I drink this uh, drink, which uh, flies swim inside it and do diving, I was able to walk in a rope between two mountains because I'm very stable. I mean, this is a sign of a stability to drink that drink. A person who drinks this, he must be very stable. Not only stable. Do you mean stable like a horse or stable as balance? I'm not sure. Because there's an English word that says stable as a horse, like horse house, something like that. I know she is on my side. Thank you for translation. I'm just joking, guys. But you don't take a. You, you really people think I'm. I don't know that she is on my side. Yeah, thank you, Tamara. Tamara is helping me with my English. Balance, CP. Balance. May Allah balance you. Now I know why they call it Casablanca because it used to be Casa without a balance. Now, who's a Muslim when I tell me what is the balance here? What can the balance? Uh, by the way, do you think the, the fly 
lost her balance and fell down or Allah sent the fly hmm? do you think like this fly Allah he make it fail in the soup of the Prophet and let me tell you what happened Muhammad the fly fell in his soup and everybody was looking like what the heck with this guy he's still drinking and eating and the fly like was trying to save herself trying to get out and the Prophet of Allah, Allah when he saw them looking he decided to show them that he is not disgusting person no he's not savage not cheap there is a wisdom so he said when a fly like this fill in your soup dip it dip it dip it and drink it and since then it became sunnah it became law You can come and stay in Papua Island. Okay, my friend, I will go to Papua Island. In Papua Island, it's, it's if it's full of Christians, I will be more scared because you guys, you might be fighting over me who want to take me to your house. And then I end in a soup of somebody. Any Abdul? Papawa, is it beautiful? Is the island beautiful? Actually, I saw a lot of pictures about Indonesia. It's a very beautiful country. It's very bad that you know Islam is there. I, I pray that one day that this this heaven will turn into Christ, and it will be a real heaven. Then, I mean, imagine if Indonesia became a Christian country. How peaceful, how beautiful is going to turn? And I believe this will happen. Don't get there. It's set up. My friend, they don't know what they are asking for. Just tell me this is this is a true story, by the way. It's written inside Bukhari. Uh, once a mafia they kidnapped me when I was a kid, and then they called my dad and they said we want a three million dollar unless if you don't pay us, he will never come back home. He said I will pay you, but under one condition. They said what? He said you don't send him back, brother. And my dad, he paid them the money and they never sent me back. Like finally somebody kidnapped me. He was like happy. Hey, we get rid of him. Unbelievable. So what are you talking about? And then the mafia, they paid me money to go. I said, no, I'm not leaving. Go, man, you're free. No, I'm not leaving. You are free. I am not leaving. Salamat, salamat. Do we have any Abdul here? From the tribe of wisdom, from the culture of dipit tipit, from the medicine of fly fill in the soup. I'm really convinced that your prophet is a prophet. Juliet, you will adopt me. You have no idea what are you asking for. Let me let me let I will let my mom talk to you. My mom, she will pay you if you do so. Are you Muslim here? I mean, so, so what does that mean? Each time I go online, I will talk to myself. Where is Shabir Ali? Did you see, guys, the video I made for Shabir Ali? Don't forget to download it, by the way. I have the link for you in Patreon. Yeah. Any Mohammedan? Dip it, dip it. Dip it, dip it. You know, you know, you know, guys. If Indonesia, if you make me a president, I will, I will practice Sharia law, and I will make a law clear. And anyone, a Muslim, a fly, a drop in his soup is not allowed to take it off unless he dip it and then he take it and then he have to drink the soup. And if you don't drink the soup, I will give you a big fine. We will whip your ass. Why Muslim don't practice this? Obviously, you don't believe in your prophet, don't you? Otherwise, you should do it. Got to go now. Guys, did you see this guy or this lady? I don't know, Glory? Just said, got to go now. This is our chat here is the same as Islam. You can get in, you cannot leave. This is the only way to grow. Please close the door. Somebody is leaving. You cannot leave.
You say Shahada, you don't leave. This is the only way to grow. And the funny, by the way, Muslims, they speak to you a week ago, they say to you, we are 1.6 billion. Two weeks after, we are 1.8 billion. Three weeks from now, they are 2.3 billion. What's wrong with you? Are we talking about chicken? Just two weeks ago, it's 1.6 billion. Two weeks after, 1.8 billion. And then if we check for reality, we will not find not that even one Muslim between all the billions. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Any of the followers of Abdulism? Anyone? Guys, what do you think? Do you think really? Uh, do you like? Do you like what we do here? I'm so glad you don't see me a real. Each time I go and do a seminar. Once I was afraid that there's a guy he really will die. I mean the guy he was sweating He's he's big he's you know heavy duty guy and Like his belly is like a big balloon and the guy he can't breathe. I said the guy he's dead. That's it I have to stop he keep laughing keep laughing keep laughing I could I mean I said I was looking at him the guy that the his sweat his clothes all of it is wet Do you know like a guy taking a shower? It is literally he is a taking a shower of a sweating from laughing And each time I go to do a seminar, the church elder, he'll have to present me. First time, they do not know me. So he starts saying to them, our brother here is different from a normal, uh, like, you know, you want to you prepare him for what's coming. Like, <laughs> like he is not like uh, an average, normal, uh, you know, like, okay. And I would say to myself, oh, God, when this guy will finish, like he's the prepared to for me to, to go in the stage is like an like an hour like come on finish it let them see what it go what, what's happened let what happened happened and then after I do the seminar they start asking me from everywhere to go to their church they take only one seminar to make everyone see how stupid Islam is It is the best comedy show. Do you travel for North America? Actually, yeah, I do. Uh, I was last time in Texas. But to be honest with you, uh, I prefer to go and serve poor people. Because churches, sadly, some of them, they are doing business, like Muhammad. So you go there, and then they start collecting donation on your behalf. I don't want to do that I prefer to go to a poor country and I do my service for free and I pay for my hotel for my accommodation and for sure people they help us but not those poor people you know because uh, uh, like in the Philippines as an example they are poor so and I make condition always that don't collect donation from those people so I really prefer to go and serve poor people. I love, I don't know why, when I am teaching between poor people, I see in their eyes a different level of happiness, different, I mean, it's really beautiful. Nothing fake, nothing fake. I, 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 I hate fake stuff. I, I like to be me. I like to be real. That's why I never wear a suit. I don't like a tie. I don't care people will say what I dress. I like to be me. And when I am with the poor people, I feel I am one of them. And they are very loving. And I'm not saying the rich people are bad, by the way. I'm not saying that. But, you know, there's many that attend. It's just like a show off. Once I did a seminar, and all of those who attend, they are very, very, let us say, they are the top. I was totally unhappy. Even though it's an opportunity to meet like the highest people in government or etc., but it feels nothing. I love it with the poor people. Uh, the 
Do we have any Muhammadan anything? Anyone? Once I, I finished a seminar in the Philippines and two girls they came and I was talking to somebody and then I noticed they are talking about like talk to him. She's the other one she's saying to her, talk to him, talk to him. And then I finished with this guy. So I say, I can can I help you? Uh, she said, I have a question. I said, sure. She said, are you Christian Prince? <laughs> unbelievable and i said yes the other girl she jumped she said see i told you this is him this is his voice what's wrong with you <laughs> i told you i told you <laughs> so they are fighting is he a christian prince or he's not a christian prince i told you he's a christian prince because in the you know not always they you you know i give them freedom to introduce me as they wish so sometimes they introduce me as a christian prince sometimes they say a christian uh, uh, you know, um, blah, 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 whatever, you know, but they didn't say uh, any any name. Yeah. <clears throat> any Abdul? And actually, this is the best thing that nobody know you because it's more a blessing, the same as the Lord, he says, when you give with the right hand, don't let the other hand know. So, None of you know me. Even if you see me somewhere, you will not even know. Once I was in the airport, I was like I was sitting next to two guys, and they were talking about me, watching my videos, and they were laughing. So I know they are Christians, but I did not mention anything. Uh, so I feel about it better. It gave me more freedom. Secondly, nobody knows who is this guy. It's more a blessing. So where are the Muslims now? Indonesian people, you need to help me to bring your ustaz. The funny about all the, the one who teach Islam in Indonesia, they call them ustaz. And in the Middle East, we don't use this term because ustaz, ustaz is not meant to be about somebody he's, he teaches religion. Ustaz, ustaz is for someone teach mathematics, uh, geography, but not religion. Thank you, Marta. What those hearts for? Is that a laundry or something? Any Abdul? <clears throat> no, my friend. We don't slayer. We are a savior, a Muslim savior. Okay. Yeah. We, you know, we don't. We. I always encourage you, you know, to to always to carry the spirit of Christ in your heart. Don't hate people. Don't uh, don't be aggressive. Don't jump into violence. Uh, hate. Uh, uh, you know the first the, the first thing hate does it hurt you Before it hurt the one you hate You will see that the one who hate and that's what happened in Islamic countries is why they don't have they are not happy look at their faces They are so angry Because hate destroy you from inside. It's like a worm It's like an insect eat you from inside Hate is destruction and destroy you first before your enemy so learn how to forgive and learn not to be hateful that is for your benefit you see when the Lord they said to him how we pray he says pray like this our father out of heaven and then you will say you will find that the first thing you should do you say our father forgive us the same as we forgive to others so in order to be Christian learn how to forgive and forgiveness not only will make you christian because this is your fruit the fruit of christianity but will help your spirit from inside you will enjoy your life better imagine you keep remembering something someone did to you every day every day every day and you can't forget about it your life is destroyed you can't enjoy your life no more you know what I mean? Like, forget about Islam or anything. Let us say uh, one day you were get you you were married and you know you were divorced and the other spouse, regardless of a male or female, did something wrong to you. And if you keep hate in your heart, you will never enjoy the rest of your life. 
forgive forgive so you may be forgiven this is what our father out of prayer says why you want the father to forgive you if you are not willing to forgive forgiveness is something beautiful and it's full of love and that will make you close to the Messiah so we are those who follow the Christ Christ he changed our nature from the nature of sin to a noble nature of forgiveness of law and love you are a different person you are a new person and you know if you learn this by the way you will notice that even your private life change your family the way you deal with things is totally different I get death threat every day you can imagine eh, it doesn't affect me at all I go sleep and I'm very comfortable for what I care for is serving my Lord not the devil You can curse me, you can call me names, you can make fun of me. I mean, I know why you do that. I feel sorry for you, actually. The Messiah, he says exactly what you will do to me when I say the truth. Now, we go back to the topic. Until now, we have a failure in our mission. We could not make a Muslim call us to prove us wrong how Muhammad is a prophet of God to Indonesia to Malaysia to Philippine to India to Japan to China yet the Quran says Allah will never send a messenger from him unless he speak the language of the people Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Anyone? Thank you, Martha. Thank you. Do we have any Muhammadan want to say something? Anyone from following the religion of Abdulism? You know, the, the Abdulism religion where it believed that you are a Abdul, which means a slave of Allah, Allah created you to be a slave. So this cult make you believe from the beginning that you are created to be abused. You know, in the Bible, Yes, let me let me get this verse even though usually I don't use the Bible because our topic is dirty so I keep the Bible far away uh, if we go to first Peter second let us open the Bible <clears throat> There is there's things, you know, they are so beautiful and they are so amazing in the Bible. Where the Bible speak that you as a free man, you as a free woman, you don't use liberty to abuse liberty. You see, Muslims, they believe that they are born as a slave. If somebody can pause the verse, uh, 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 first uh, Peter, second, uh, I think verse number 16. Let me, just let me get, hold on. <clears throat> Very beautiful verse. You will notice that the Messiah and the Bible speak about us about you serve as a free or a freed slave which means you serve by love and choice you are not a slave you are not a slave actually it is 16 yeah 16 hold on 16 yeah you are not a slave 
you are a freed slave because with the Messiah your slavery is gone while in Islam you are a slave to serve as a slave you die as a slave this is all the translation you, you see in the front of you live as people who are free not using your freedom as a cover-up for evil but live as a freed slave which means a slave who is a freed a free servant live as a free but don't use a freedom for cover up for evil so there's a huge difference between the teaching of Islam where Islam says you are created to worship this is the purpose of your existence to be used and abused even Muhammad he said that if you don't commit sin Allah will destroy you so the purpose of our existence in Islam is totally different different from the purpose of existence in Christianity in Islam this God he is looking for sinners just because then they need him they ask for forgiveness this, this God he have a mental issue it's like you have a son and your son is very good to you and then he will not say a father forgive me and that it doesn't make you happy because you need him to cry say forgive me that is sick so while in Christianity you are not made even though God is Almighty he can force you to be a slave you like it you don't why you cannot answer about a video where he got refuted by any money stuff my friend why I want to waste my time why you don't call me right now and tell me what they say in that video I am sure you are the one who made the video correct guys call me answer me I'm here Christian Prince why you don't answer the phone the, the video where they refuted you did you ask yourself why you did not refute me by calling me life I mean which one is better calling Christian Prince life get him busted life in the front of everybody Christians and Muslims are recorded and posted again but because you know that you are a potato Christian friends, why you don't answer the video refuting you? Go change your diaper, man. Go change your diaper. I'm sure when you post that text, you are doing poo poo in your in your panty. You don't dare. No, you care because you made a video just to refute me supposedly. So what do you mean you don't care? Why you are here then? You are a liar, hypocrite. Guys, I don't care. I don't care about your fans. Care about the Muslims without leaving Islam left and right. So when you make a video supposed to refute me, either you are sure from what you said, or you are a potato. What you debate yourself and you win the debate? Okay, you won the debate. No, you you made it. Obviously, you made it. Otherwise, okay, bring me the one who made that. If I'm going to answer every video must they make about me, I will spend my life answering videos. <laughs> and all your videos are funny and stupid. Anyway, do we have any Mohammedan? Any Mohammedan here? Dip it, dip it. Who is the Muslim when I call us and dip the fly in the soup? Dip the fly in the soup, 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 soup. Dip the fly in the soup, soup, soup. Mean. What is your opinion about the gospel of Barnaba? My friend Justin. Okay. I, I, I don't know what the program Brother David Wood he used to to uh, to uh, uh, to make a question appear on the screen. If somebody knows, let me know, by the way. Uh, because this is a good way to show uh, uh, questions of people. Uh, we have here our brother here. He said this. Let me let me show you the question. Uh, just then he said, "What is your opinion on the Gospel of Barnabas? 
mentioning Muhammad I'm sure that the one who mentioned that to you is the Muslims right okay question why the Muslim don't accept the Bible of Barnaba <laughs> I mean why they mention to us something they themselves don't accept isn't it silly are you there Justin if this is the Bible according to to the Muslims why the Muslim don't accept it to be Bible they don't accept it they themselves don't accept it. so why you use it why even you mention it and that book my friend that book says that Muhammad he is the Messiah it's a stupid book but look what happened because those Abdul they are copy paste brother do you know that the Bible of Barnaba is in the name of a prophet Muhammad the brother and then Zach and Nike will come to you a brother Victor do the Bible it called the Bible of Barnaba and it meant in the name of the Muhammad and I trained the Christian to tell it why you are okay. you yourself you don't accept it you idiot and this book obviously is written hundreds of years after after after, after Christ so they are silly I mean those are very this is like a childish talk why I'm mad don't talk about mad my friend the mad is the one who says what you see in the screen that is mad uh, by the way do you want me to show you that your prophet he used to beat Muslims because he was mad and not only that he claimed uh, if the prophet he beat you Allah will give you blessing a brother do you like to get a blessing of Allah by beating do you see it do you see it you're a prophet he claimed he beat Muslims who they are innocent they did nothing wrong and when he cursed and beat them Allah gave them good deeds so they like to earn good deed brother Abdul are you there what kind of a prophet he claimed that if he spank you Allah will give you a blessing for your ass spanking hello call me I will spank you too and then you will get the blessing of Allah and this is the reason the Muslims don't dare to call me because whatever they say I will get them something to get them busted this is the whole point you guys you understand this is why they are they don't dare to call me because whatever we say to this guy he show us something from our book and like bingo hello hello it's me you're looking for the prophet he spank you when you get a blessing I never heard such a thing before hello hmm? what kind of God he sacrifice his family okay I will take your statement just to show you how we can you see it's not a stop a process of getting Abdul busted I will go with you guys I will go with him it's good to go with the Abdul what kind of God sacrifice his family okay in Islam God did not sacrifice his family and Jesus is saved so why you don't worship Jesus Abdul If you are saying to me that if Jesus he is the son of God and then how come his father a brother did not save him but in your stupid cult Jesus was saved by his father see do you see how silly you are so according to your cult Jesus must be God then because God he saved his family take beer why you hate Muslims we don't hate Muslims we love them do you hate them yourself you must be mental if you hate them why you hate the Muslims they are victims we are trying to help them and by the way look what they do they try to play victim as long you are against hate uh, what's your name uh, Muslim girl grace as long you are against hate I am against hate too 
So what do you think about this verse in the Quran where Allah in the Quran says that he will supply hatred and enmity between the Christians? Are you against hate, sister? Sister, look at this. Allah, he is the hate vendor to the Christian. So if you see somebody he is a Christian and he is teaching hate, he got it from Allah. Are you there, Mrs. Grace? Your Majesty? Are you still against hate or you support hate? If you are against hate, say in the text, please, that this is disgusting teaching of Allah. It says here, and from those who call themselves Christians, they took their, uh, we took their uh, covenant, but they abandoned a good part of the message, and so that we sent them, and so we planted among them enmity and hatred till the day of resurrection. So, Grace, are you against this teaching or you support it? Grace now is busy doing makeup. Grace, are you there? Grace, do you like to call a friend? Hello? Hello? It is me against. Thank you very much. So don't say to us why you hate. We don't hate anyone. Did, did we guys ever we say hate? Actually, just a minute ago, we were saying to the Christians, forgive and love the Muslims. Correct, guys? You can play the recording. The, the video is recorded. So where you come with this from? You are like a fly who jump in the middle of the hummus and says just to make noise. Don't speak foolishness. Now, do we have any Mohammedan? Who is Elijah? John the Baptist? Uh, them, are you a Muslim, my friend? Them, Bigfoot, are you a Muslim? Uh, call me young of what is okay. What are you a Muslim? If you are a Muslim, I will call you. If not, I don't call non Muslims. Anyone? <clears throat> Who is a smart Muslim would like? To call us and show us something good debate like this will destroy relationship grace that is very funny of you so what we will do we stay mute there is no relationship as you see Christians are forbidden to take us as a friends so we are trying to say to all of them that Islam is wrong we can take you as a friend Quran says a chapter 5 verse 51 take not the Christians and Jews as a friends so you want us not to talk and let the Muslim believe that they cannot take us as a friend and according to you This is the best way to have a friendship By not taking us as a friend <clears throat> This is when an ignorant person open his mouth do and this is exactly what you are doing Before you open your mouth sit and listen and educate yourself so might understand before you make a judgment Any Mohammedan? No, I have to be honest. Actually, I hate I hate cockroaches. Unbelievable. I hope I'm allowed to hate cockroaches. They will say, "Look, see, he just said he hate cockroaches." Islam is a religion of hate. We hate nobody. Jesus says, "Love your enemy." How we can hate? By hating, we disobey the Messiah. Love your enemy, pray for them, not only forgive them. That is the teaching of Christ, and we are followers of Christ. We are not following followers of a war warrior, his name is Muhammad, a gang leader. Anyone? Do we have any Muslim would like to call me? So I get your ID, you know, ID. In uh, Skype, and I will call you.
Tomorrow you kill cockroaches. Guys, tomorrow she have a blood in her hands. I know, I knew it, that this girl, the first time I saw her in the chat, something fishy about her. Look at her text. It have a color. Any Mohammedan would like to call us and have a nice and friendly conversation? So, Indonesian people, I went this early so I can uh, I can have you, and I have people from Asia with us. Do you think really Muhammad he can be a messenger of God who was sent to you? When the Quran make it so clear that Allah he never send a messenger unless he is from your nation, speak your tongue. How we can believe that Muhammad is a messenger when the Quran itself is a contradiction? Isn't it the Quran says if this is a book not from God, the true God, then you will find a lot of contradiction. The Quran says that. You believe it? Yes, the Quran says that in chapter 4, verse number 82. Why they cannot consider the Quran? If it's not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradictions. It's in the front of you. So I'm following the steps and the advice of Allah. How we can find if this book is from Allah or not? Contradiction. So how the verse, the other verse says, in order for Muhammad to be a prophet to you, he have to speak your language, whatever who you are, and he have to be from your nation. So how Muhammad is a messenger for all mankind. Anyone? Islam versus humanity. Is he a Muslim? Okay, I will do a challenge in Indonesian language. Hold on. But what if this is not a true language? V player, maybe it's not bad words. Okay. Mana mana Muslim Indonesia Saya Tantang Tantang and That's it. Okay, now guys, I made a challenge for uh, uh, Muslims from Indonesia. By the way, I noticed my, my my Spanish is very good. I mean, I did not know if you know, I did not know if you noticed that. M my, my Spanish is really good. This is not Spanish. Oh, this is was Indonesian, so, right? Right. I I I, I know. I, I I was saying my Portuguese is good. Yeah. My basha. Your basha. No, don't say bahasa. Bahasa Indonesia is so good. What what bahasa? Guys, don't make fun of. Uh, okay, I will call Allah for you. I speak Arabic. Remember. By the way, guys, by the way, uh, there's a verse in the Quran which is very dangerous. Let me show you. Muhammad, he said to the Christians, believe in me now. Confirm in what we they give you. Believe in me. Otherwise, Allah will erase your eyebrows. And Allah will erase your nose and your mouth. And even your neck. And will make your head upside down and backward. And guys, this is true. I woke up in the morning. I found my... Okay, hold on. I wish I have a camera to show you. My mouth became in my back, uh, belly bottom. And my nose, I cannot tell you where. I mean, it's under my arm. Brother, this is a true threat. True threat. That is God? I mean, okay, well, why Allah did not do that? It says the same as we did curse the people of the Sabbath. We made them pigs and monkeys. So this is not about judgment. It's about now in the time of Muhammad. 
Hello. Okay, let me explain to you with my art. Excuse me, guys. I have to practice art. It's my hobby. Since I was born, actually, I was uh, playing art. You know? Uh, but in, at that time, <clears throat> uh, we don't have, like, material for paint. So I was using things which is not right to use. But anyway, I'm not going to tell you what. You know? Uh, we have no diver at that time. So, okay. Allah, brother. This is your face, brother. Okay, brother. And this is your eyes, brother. Mashallah, you are very good in art, brother. By the way, Allah curse the one who 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 draw art. Uh, this is your eyebrows. And this is your nose. And this is your mouth. Okay? And this is your hair. Obviously, this guy is not Sam Shamoon, just to let you know. I mean, you can tell the hair is long. So, Allah, he said to the Christian, if you don't believe in Prophet Muhammad, Allah will erase those things from you. Okay, what things? First, your mouth is gone. And now Christian Prince, he will come up. Mm, mm, mm. And then Allah will make your nose go in the other direction. What does that mean? Like this. Your nose will go inside your mouth. Let's just draw it again. Your nose will go like this. Inside, the, inside your face. Like this. Okay. I didn't know how to draw this thing. Is um, this is need the 3D graphic? Like and go inside your face, and then Allah will make your eyes blank, which means no eyes too, and no eyebrows. I mean, look how handsome man! And then Allah, He's not done yet. He will take your face, this face, and he will make it in your back. <laughs> Me. That's too much. That's too much. And now it's time to believe in the Prophet Muhammad. Otherwise, he will do that to you. Actually, I know a story, true story. That a Christian like me, he made fun of the Quran and Allah curse him, he make him look like a Christian prince. God forbid. Imagine you you sleep as a very handsome guy, very good looking. You wake up in the morning like what? You are a Christian prince. Like what? No. No way, Allah. Stop it. Please. I will never do it again. Don't make me look like Christian Prince. At least make me like Sam Shamoon or David Wood. Not like Christian Prince, please. What the heck is this? Hello? That must be true prophet. Are you guys having fun? Kathy, you want to be happy if you are a Christian prince, but you are a, a female. Oh, now, not only she want to hijack my look, she want to take my gender. Oh, boy. Any Abdul? No Abdul. No Abdul. It's dry today. If we change, you know, if we change the guy who talk from a Christian prince to someone uh, like, especially if it's like a blonde woman and her camera is on, brother, the Muslim will call from around the world, from everywhere.
from under the table, from the top of the table, from behind the couch, from under the couch. As long as a Christian brands, nobody will call. But they debate me, by the way. They debate me. They make videos. They refute me by videos. But nobody want to call me. I feel sad. Any Abdulism? All right, guys. I think we have enough for today to give a chance and opportunity for people to uh, to download the video, especially from Indonesia. Uh, please don't forget you can make a, a subtitle. And if the video is too long, you can divide it and make it short, like based on the topic. Let's say now we talk about this thing. You can make a video about it, like five minutes about this thing, whatever I was saying. So you do not need to make the whole video. You can cut it pieces and uh, add subtitle because sometimes it takes really a lot of time to add subtitle it's a lot of work so you can divide the video and translate five minutes at a time or ten minutes like just complete the topic all right and yeah if there is anyone from the religion of abdulism in the future or now or later uh, by the way it's going to happen after i hang up and go all the muhammadan abdulism will gonna call me all of them Coward Christian Prince, why you don't debate this guy? Christian Prince, if you are a brave, show us your ways. Mm. <clears throat> All right. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. I love you, all of you. My love to people in Indonesia, my love to people in Philippines, in India, all Asian, African, and my people the Arab by the way uh, by the way uh, I'm very proud to be an Arab I just learned yesterday that Shakespeare his real name is Sheikh Isber do you know that that Shakespeare his real name is Sheikh Isber you don't know that this is why I'm very proud. Alexander the Great, he was an Arab too. Even the Quran mentioned his name. They call him Zul Qurnayn with the guy with the two horn. Because in the old days, we used to grow horn. Uh, by the way, anyone knows why he was called Zul Qurnayn in the Quran? Anyone knows? Who remember? Who remember? Why? He was called the guy with the two horn. You see here, it says Adul Qurnayn. They didn't translate it, you know. But it is, let us see different translation. The guy with the two horn. Why he was called with the two horn. Exactly. They hit him in his head. This brother, he came to the people. And he told them, I invite you to believe in Allah. And then they did not believe. And they hit him in his head. And this is, and he died. And this is how he got the first horn. I'm not joking, by the way. Don't think I'm joking. This is what the Muslim believe. He told them to convert to Islam. They hit him in his head. And he got the first horn. And then Allah, brother, he resurrected him from the death. And he sent him back to the same people. And then again, they hit him in the head, but on the other side. And he died. And this is how he got the second horn. And this is how he got the name, the guy with the two horn. Are you happy, children? How you must believe in this garbage? Boing? Like, yeah, boing? It's like Tom and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, if there is any Muslim he want to challenge me to prove it, please do. I will show you the reference and I will make you read it from your own Islamic book. Life on air. And don't worry, I'm not going to hit you on your head and I will not make you have a horn. Because usually we spank, we don't hit the head. Any Abdulism? Do we have any Abdulism here? The guy he got two head twice and he got two horn and now his name the guy with the two horn 
Why? He was an ant. And your prophet, he watched too much Tom and Jerry, brother. Boing. Oh, this is Tom and Jerry. How in the world this is end in your book? What the heck? All right. So guys, I want to say thank you again. Love you all from around the world and specifically for now because we are late in the morning, morning time for me. Those who live in Asia, Indonesia, Philippines, India, Malaysia. I mean, there's something I missed. Uh, Thailand. Uh, I don't want to get killed. Uh, Venezuela. Venezuela is not an Asia. Oh, I forgot because the shortest socialist took over Venezuela. So everybody, there's nine millions run away from Venezuela. So they are in the East now. They are already in Asia. And as you see, I'm very good in uh, geography. Bulgaria, you are from Bulgaria? Savilita, how am I going to leave your name? It, guys, you see, it's really beautiful. This internet brought people from around the world. All of us, we are brothers and sisters in Christ. Isn't it beautiful? I have a family I never met. I have people support what we do, but they don't know me. It's even better than your own family because those people, you did not choose them. You did not choose a person who was born from your mother. But we choose to be together. The Lord is amazing. We are united by Him. His love is our blood. His words is our wisdom. His passionate encourage us to do more and more. And it doesn't matter how much we do, we feel we want to do more. Honest to God, I finish broadcasting, I say, I want to go again. Sometimes I say to myself, stop doing it. I mean, you need even to rest your voice. But the Messiah is amazing. Because each time I come online, somebody decides to leave this cult. It is so beautiful. The same as our Lord. God is good. So Christ is. And we are the followers of the good God. They ask, they said, Jesus said, only God is good, but they forgot that Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. I am who I am. And yet they say to you, where Jesus says, I am God. Worship me. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And if you like to learn more about the cult of Abdulism, Islam, Muhammadism, read my books. And you can find them in Amazon in many languages. Thank you and see you soon again. Take care.